Annenberg Media. Additional funding is provided by the Stratford Foundation, the Arthur Vining Davis Foundations, Geraldine R. Dodge Foundation, George I. Alden Trust, and Alfred E. Chase Charity Foundation. Rebecca. Uncle Brendan. So good to meet you, finally. Yeah, I wish you were under happier circumstances. How are you holding up? We're okay. It's Dad I'm worried about. Does he know you called me? Yes, he wants to see you. Can I go in and see him? Excuse me. This is my Uncle Brendan. He'd like to see my father. Yes, come in. He's resting. Uh, I'd like to see him alone for a few minutes, if that's okay. Yes, of course. All right. I hope we did the right thing. Are you all right? I'm worried about you. I'll survive. Do you want to go get something to drink? No. I'm going to go and say goodnight to Sandy. I'll be back. Patrick. Patrick. It's Brendan. Your long-lost brother. <sighs> Sandy. I can't believe it. Rebecca called me. She told me you asked for me to come. You know what we are. We're two big-headed Irishmen, so stubborn. That we didn't talk to each other for almost 30 years. You know, it's not the way brothers are supposed to be. You know what they say about us Irish? tempers and long memories. I'm ready to forgive and forget. How about you? Where did Sandy go? I don't know. I can't believe she took off. What's wrong? Looks like Jack's been beating Sandy up. You've got to be kidding. Actually hitting her? Yeah. You should see her face. She has a huge black and blue mark right here. That pig. He should have his face kicked in. Kevin, don't talk like that. This thing won't take my money. Do you have any change? How much do you need? 75 cents. Kevin, 
I'm sorry I yelled at you. That's all right. <laughs> That's all right. It's all right. Nurse! Hurry! Help! What's wrong, Uncle Brendan? What's going on? Everybody stand clear. Clear. Shock. 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 Begin CPR. Can we get lidocaine? One, one milligram two, of lidocaine. Three, and four and five. And one and two and three and four and five. Bad news. Patrick passed away a few hours ago. Oh, honey, I'm so sorry. Were you able to talk to him? We made our peace. Oh, that's good. How are Kevin and Rebecca taking it? Rebecca's uh, pretty upset. Kevin's a little quiet. Yeah, I understand. I'd like you to come out to the funeral. Of course. Aunt Molly? It's Rebecca. I have some sad news. Dad passed away this morning. A heart attack. Yes, it was a terrible shock. The wake is going to be tomorrow, from 6 to 9. It's okay. Dad's friend Frank Wells will pick you up. this guy? He's a friend from San Francisco. <sighs> Uncle Brendan. And you must be Anne. Huh? Thank you for making the trip. I'm very sorry about your father. It all happened so fast. We can't believe it. Thank you for the flowers. They're just beautiful. I don't know anyone here. Where's Kevin? Over there. Oh, excuse me. It was good you called Brendan. You did the right thing. It's wrong for a family to be like that. I know. Brendan can be very stubborn. But I guess your father was, too. How you holding up, kid? Pretty good. Now, I don't know a soul here. Do you know who any of these people are? Not all, but some. That guy over there worked with Dad at the fire department. And that's Mrs. Peterson. She lives in our building. Ooh. That guy over there, that's Frank Wells. He's a fireman, too. He's an old friend of Dad's. Oh, my God, I can't believe my eyes. Is that Molly over there? Aunt Molly, yeah. <laughs> Frank Wells picked her up at the retirement community. You know, we used to get Christmas cards from her. <laughs> but I haven't seen her in I don't know how long. Brendan's so sad about losing his only brother, but at least... They made peace before your father died. 
I was happy about that. Um, can I ask you something? Yeah? Dad never told me what their disagreement was about. Do you know? You mean you don't know? No. I think it would be better if Brendan told you himself. Rebecca and Kevin see the uncle for the first time. Rebecca? Uncle Brendan. So good to meet you, finally. The uncle asks if he can go in the room to see the brother he hasn't seen for so many years. Can I go in and see him? They make peace. I'm ready to forgive and forget. Unfortunately, he passed away. Can you respond to me? Bring in the defibrillator. He's not breathing. Okay. Brendan called his wife on the farm and asked her to come to Boston to the funeral. I'd like you to come out to the funeral. Of course. Were you able to talk to him? We made our peace. It's really a shame people don't realize earlier that um, they should just try to resolve yeah. the disagreement yeah, that's right. you know, that's before right. they realize, oh, it's going to be too late. And, mm -hmm. you know, yeah. the people I think if those two brothers could go back, they wouldn't have lived their life that way, don't you think? They would have maybe. made amends before. Maybe, maybe not. But sometimes, you know, like calamity or disasters always bring the good out of human beings. For more information about this program and course books, call 1-800-532-7637. That's 1-800-LEARNER. Annenberg Media. For information about this and other Annenberg Media programs, call 1 800 Learner and visit us at www.learner.org. Additional funding is provided by the Stratford Foundation, the Arthur Vining Davis Foundations, Geraldine R. Dodge Foundation. George I. Alden Trust, and Alfred E. Chase Charity Foundation.